you guys it's candy and I've got a quick little share here I'm probably gonna add a video of coloring at the end so um, if you guys aren't interested in that just watch this first part and then you can um, just turn it off but um, I found this cute little house mouse image and I actually um, raised the images that he was juggling and um, colored it up with the Prisma color pencils um, and cut it out with a um, stitch die, added some ribbon that had little stars at the back, and actually made this little milk box container. And I'm going to fill it up with some candy and send it to his teacher, um, my little guy's teacher. Um, she's been putting up with a whole bunch of craziness with um, our little guy because we're potty training and he's just been a handful. So this is my project for this month, and like I say, I'm going to add a video of coloring at the end. But there are a ton of gals who are um, also participating. I'll have the links below, um, and we're actually talking about possibly doing it again next year too. So if anyone would like to join us, um, Gracie21 is um, the coordinator for the collab. If you let her know, her link is below. Let her know that you'd like to join us. She would be more than happy to add you um, to the group next year. And it's going to be really relaxed and um, no themes. Just each month do a um, video of some house mouses. And that's basically it. So go on over, check everyone out. Um, let Gracie know if you'd like to join us. And I hope you guys enjoy this little project that I made. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the coloring. Okay, I'm going to do some color in here using the Prisma pencils. Still, um, only colored with them a handful of times, so still kind of getting used to how they work. My phone is really wobbling here. haven't been able to do too much crafting. Um, my kids are all in school. Um, my middle one, we used to homeschool and he started his sophomore year at high school. He took a couple classes last semester to kind of ease back into going to public school again and he, he likes it, um, but it's a lot different. We used to be done in like three and a half hours all his school and now he's gone all day and um, he uh, has at least three hours of homework almost every night and then he was sick a couple days from not being around the kids as much so he's catches colds pretty easy <laughs> um, but overall he's doing good and uh, he's in algebra and they uh, he can do the problems in his head so learning to write all the workout has been a little rough for him so we've been up almost every single night doing homework it's been a little crazy so been tired haven't been able to do a whole lot of crafting but try to get in here when I can um, next week I'm hoping to do a yard sale now that the boys are all in school I can get rid of some stuff Things have been collecting <laughs> all summer. Need to probably need to have a couple yard sales, but we are getting rid of one of my son's um, bedroom set. They had bunk beds when they were little. We just got him a new big boy bed, so that's been kind of cool. And our little one, our special needs guy, he we are potty training him, and he is uh very very close but whenever he gets mad at us he uh, tries to pee on stuff so i've been doing lots and lots of bedding um cleaning the carpet when he gets mad he's like kind of like having a puppy around it's been a little rough um but no more diapers so we we had bought diapers for 
17 years the way it fell because my oldest 17 and now we're just finally done with diapers with our special guy thankfully because now they he's getting big enough for they weren't really fitting well but he's having at school having some accidents when he's mad at his teacher and usually it's a jealousy thing if she's paying attention to someone else he he'll potty in his pants and his uh one day he uh Pottied on the bus, so that was not real, real good. They were not happy about that. Uh, so, just kind of shading out these cheeks a little bit. And uh, I don't know if the blending, how the blending pin is going to work with this, but I might try that. I have a stamping up blending pen, so we'll see if that works. And for some reason, this image isn't super crisp. A little out of focus. Um, hopefully you guys can see that okay. And... little bit lighter wood color on the end of the pencil here. Usually I'm up a little bit closer to my work, but because I'm trying to film it, my phone is in a weird position. I probably should turn on the light. <laughs> overhead light. It's sunny outside, but not great. And I'm still getting used to my bifocals. Ugh. I used to make fun of my husband looking over his glasses, and now I do it all the time. Probably shouldn't have picked on him so much. <laughs> I'll say this in the other video too. Um, definitely go over and check everybody out who's in the collab. They have some amazing uh, projects. And of course, these little house mouse images are just so cute. And uh, this month's theme was school. Oh, which one did I use? Allergies, so the ragweed is out, so my allergies are crazy, so I'm sorry if I'm breathing really hard. I've noticed in a couple of my videos you can really hear my breathing. I'm like, oh no! But overall, life is pretty good. It's nice having the boys gone all day. It gives me a little more freedom to do some work. At, like I say, I redid my son's bedroom. And painted it and got him a new bed, a big boy bed. And uh, so that was kind of cool. Um, my oldest is a senior, so we're looking into uh, colleges now. And um, he gets like probably 20 letters in the mail every day about different colleges. So, but he'd like to go into the Air Force Academy or be um, in the ROTCO program. Um, he'd like to fly planes when he gets older. So, not sure that that'll all work out, but hopefully he he's super, super smart. So, that end of it I'm not worried about, but um, to him that 
commitment for all the time that you have to put in, which is a lot, but he comes out of college debt-free, so that'd be good. And he wants to get into engineering of some kind. He's the only kid I know who doesn't have to study for chemistry or physics. <laughs> like He's so crazy. But it's nice that, sorry I bumped that. It's nice that he doesn't struggle. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to start coloring mice with like a light coat on some of the highlighted areas. Basically, I just learned to color by trying and uh, watching other people's videos. Um, there's quite a few great colorists out there that I've um, been watching. Um, it seems like not as many, a lot of them are older videos. It doesn't seem like as many people are um, making new stuff. I don't know, a lot of haul videos. A lot of uh, D stash videos, but I'm not seeing a lot of uh, videos of people actually making stuff. There's a few. Um, those are kind of my favorite, watching people make stuff, new things. So I don't think maybe it's just for summer. People are busy and haven't been inside doing crafts. So hopefully, as the fall comes in, people start making videos again. I'm hoping to do more videos myself, but. We'll see. <laughs> Life seems to get so crazy. I'm trying not to say yes to anything until I know how my schedule is going to go with the kids all being in school now. Um, I do want to join a Bible study, so that's, I think we'll be doing that. Um, and I'd like to serve a little bit. I help out with youth group at this um, junior high and high school at our church but that's usually just a Sunday commitment so I might try to help somewhere else one day a week because I do miss hanging out with big people <laughs> okay. I think these would have probably looked better gray but that's okay I kind of like the brown field mice. Anyway, never know what to really talk about when I'm videoing. <laughs> These house mouses are so cute. I'd like to do uh, some of my little girl stamps to the magnolias and the gorgeous girls. So I might try to join one of the challenges that are out there. Or one of the collabs of people doing those. I just love those little girls. They're so cute. Kind of losing the paw there a little bit. And I just kind of keep going until I think it looks good. Like I say, I haven't really had any training or anything. I'd love to take a watercolor class or a class on art. Um, but I looked at some of the community college. They are so expensive. So I might see if I can't find someone who does it locally and see if I can. I'd rather pay someone... An individual the money then pay the school that kind of money to take a class because I want to say it was like over four hundred dollars to take a class like holy cabolies so I just kind of follow follow the lines that are already there so I think that looks pretty good Let's see if I can zoom in a little 